Okay, hi everybody. Yeah, uh, it's cool. I've got uh, a nice little test set up for a small business server. In fact, I have it installed in a virtual machine uh, on a separate box, home-built PC with 16 gigs. And uh, the parent operating system is, is, of course, server 2008R2. I enabled the Hyper-V role and uh, installed a virtual machine small business server 2011. Um, I, I do believe that it's up and running. Um, let me show you how easy it is to connect to it. I'm hoping. I think I also, also have to say is uh, remote. Now the reason why we get this uh, this warning, if you will, uh, is that this, the certificate is self-signed. Okay, now to me that that's not a big deal, um, you know, for what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, but I believe there's some there's some situations where you're going to want to get your own certificate. If you're a larger organization, you're most certainly going to get want to get your own certificate mobile you're going to want your own certificate for connecting via phones and stuff like that all right that's the way I understand it um, so I'm gonna for, for now though I'm just gonna say continue okay uh, it's not a big deal I know I know where this is coming from this is my server it's self-signed certificate so uh, there we go now of course I'm gonna put in my credentials and I'm, I'm not going over the internet right now, right? This is all, all local. And uh, I don't think you can see my password, so I'll go ahead and, uh, even though you're shoulder surfing, sort of, you can't see my keyboard, so I'm good. Yeah, so now we're going to um, connect via remote web access over the local area network. So let's see if this will work. Seems kind of slow, doesn't it? Yeah, I would agree. Why? Is it because I've got all these things open? That could be part of it, I suppose. Although it shouldn't be. Okay, and this is uh, when you were, you saw how easy that was to do. Darn, that was easy, huh? So, because I ha because I'm an administrator, I could actually connect to the server desktop. Right, because I'm I'm uh, I just logged in with administrative credentials. Um, I don't necessarily need to do that at this moment. Let's just take a look at what we what we see here. Uh, these these menus really are the same thing as what we have down here for the most part, huh? Check email. Yeah, what what that is is even if you don't have Outlook installed. It's pretty cool because you're going to have uh, what they call Outlook Web Access or AWA for short. And it talks about the certificate era. Oh, I didn't have to log in a second time. How cool. And so there we are. Um, ain't that cool. Oh, wow. God, this is a nice report, man. I really, really, really like this. Look at how nice this is. God, this is so much better than what it used to be. It's so much nicer looking at. Look at how they've got this information laid out. Detailed network report. Summary network report. If you're the owner of a business, uh, you probably might like this summary better. Right? You're a ex busy executive. You don't want all the details. Okay. Yeah, it's just telling us, hey, I haven't configured backup. Okay, fine. I understand that. There's nothing to back up on this, right? I just I just set this up. Here's where you when you here's the first email that you get. God, do some people still do fax? I guess they do, huh? Send and receive faxes while working at your computer. Isn't that so, isn't that funny? Huh? But I guess we need to know about that. Yeah, some people still still do faxes, huh? Um, okay. Whatever. Okay, so I've got all 
And guys, this is this is just the Outlook Web Access without, uh, you know, without even using a client. This is just using your browser. Is that cool or what? Public folders. Wow, I thought they got rid of public folders. Isn't that something to read, my dear? Guys, I love this. This is great. Okay, so I'm going to sign out of uh, and see what happens. I'm going to close that window. And poof, it, it puts us back into, uh, into our remote workspace for Dave. Ain't that cool? So um, here's your public. Now, these are your shares, okay, that you have on the server. And obviously, you're going to have user shares. Redirected folders, wouldn't those be one and the same? Those, I would think those would be the same. But what do I know? Public folders, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. Public is public, I suppose. Does that mean public to everyone? Public usually means to everyone. Hmm? Um, now, a really important concept here is this right here. This is your SharePoint. Internal website, that is SharePoint Foundation is what you get with Small Business Server uh, Standard 2011. Let's fire it up. Content was blocked because it was not signed by a valid security certificate. See, these are the kind of things you run into, right? Uh, oh, and my, in my internet, see I'm on Internet Explorer 9, so it blocked it because of the, the sec, uh, security certificate error. It's saying, hey, it's not, it's not a valid third-party uh, certificate, you know, because it's a self-signed one. Hey, fine, I'm going to say show content down here. Oh, now I have to log in again. See, I don't like that. And that's where I wonder if having your own certificate is going to, is going to help that because uh, I, I don't want to have to log in twice. I want to log. It's called single sign on. I want to log in once. I want to sign in once and have access to whatever I need. I don't, it doesn't. I don't want to have to put my credentials in multiple times. I don't want to do that. There should be no. Re there's no reason that I'm aware of for that. So this is our SharePoint. This is our what they call company web. It's all ready to go out of the box. I, I didn't have to install this. I haven't even I haven't touched this, and it's it's ready to rock and roll. And um, so I think that's pretty cool. And that's where we'll leave it to today. Okay. Now I have to figure out how to stop this thing. Control Shift.